Good morning. I'm Captain Ukali, the officer in charge of the Marine Corps Scout Sniper Instructor School, and welcome to Range 4, Weapons Training Battalion, home of the Marine Corps Scout Snipers. What we're going to demonstrate here for you today is the capabilities and terminal ballistics effects of the M82A1A Special Application Scope Rifle used by the Scout Sniper Platoons of the Infantry Battalion within the Marine Corps. The M82A1A Special Application Scope Rifle itself, this weapon is 28.5 pounds empty, it is 57 inches in length with a 29 inch bow to, with a 1 15 right hand twist. Moving from front to rear, there's a muzzle brake on the end that eats approximately 40% of the recoil. The barrel itself slides back and forth, eating further recoil. The upper receiver, the bipod legs. There's a 10 power fixed genital scope, allowing us to engage maximum effective range armored targets to 2,000 yards. This weapon will fire a standard 50 cal bullet out to 7,450 yards. If you can picture 75 football fields laid end to end, that's how far the bullet will travel. A mil spec rail, a 10 round magazine, a stock and pistol grip similar to the M16. It also has front and rear iron sights and a thick recoil pad. The most commonly available ammunition for the 50 cal sasser is standard 50 cal Browning machine gun ammunition. This is, fires a 660 grain bullet at 2,800 feet per second. Another type of round is the M8 armor piercing incendiary round. This round provides limited armor piercing and limited incendiary effect against lightly armored targets. A third type of round which cannot be fired from this 50 cal weapon but however can be fired from others is the slap round. Slap standing for Sabo light armor penetrator. This is a tungsten carbide dart. What happens upon firing of the round, the plastic shoe is discarded out the side and this small dart travels at over 4,000 feet per second to penetrate armored targets. The primary round for the M82A1A Special Application Scope Rifle is the Mark 211 Mod Zero Ralphus ammunition. Ralphus being the town in Norway where the factory is located where this round is created. This round provides armor piercing, incendiary and high explosive effect and is noted by its green and silver tip. The way this round works is as follows. When the round is fired, it creates a spin. In the front of this round is an incendiary mixture. That mixture will form a cone. Behind that is composition A4, which gives high explosive effect. There are zirconium particles for a sustained burning. There is also in the back of the round a 7.62 millimeter tungsten carbide penetrator. Upon hitting an armored target, that incendiary mix will form adiabatic pressure. That pressure needing to be released will propel the 7.62 millimeter tungsten carbide penetrator forward at over 4,000 feet per second, providing armor piercing effect on a lightly armored target. Following in the wake of that tungsten carbide penetrator through that hole will follow the incendiary mixture, the composition A4, which will provide small high explosive effect, and the zirconium for incendiary effect inside the target. An example of what this ammo can do, this is a one inch thick piece of rolled homogeneous armor uh, found on armored vehicles throughout the world. We fired two rounds through it, the M8 armor piercing incendiary round on the right and the 50 cal slap round on the left. As you can see, the armor piercing incendiary round penetrated but did not continue through. The slap round, moving it over 4,000 feet per second, came in and exited completely through this block of armor. Target two is a manhole cover. It's 21 and a half inches diameter by three and a half inches thick. Target two, observer up. Ready? Fire. Two o'clock. Target two, observer's up. Ready? Fire. Center mass. Target four is a steel track from a Ford tractor. It's two inches thick, 16 inches by 12 inches dimension. Target four. Ready. Fire. Target down. Target five is bullet resistant glass. Three quarters inch thick, 15 inches by 40 inches dimensions. Target five observers up. Ready. Fire. Center mass slightly left. Target six is cinder blocks. Cinder blocks are eight inches thick, 
with three and quarter inch walls, 16 inches long. Target six, server's out. Fire. Cease fire. Target seven. Fire ten rounds at the steel target. Target number seven. Observer is up. Ready? Fire. Located here are the entrance holes on the three and a half inch thick manhole cover at a 30 degree obliquity and the exit holes. Note the secondary fragmentation pattern and the effect that had on the wood behind the target itself. The entrance hole from the 50 cal on the two inch thick steel track. Note also the crack. Better witness from this view. You can notice the 50 cal exit hole, the limited secondary fragmentation and the cracking of that plate. The incendiary effects of the 50 cal Ralphus round demonstrated here. The zirconium particles and the remnants of that round continuing to burn a full 30 seconds after bullet strike. And downrange 30 yards past the impact. The cinder blocks, the Ralphus round did penetrate through four of the blocks and then through tumbling and yawing action exited through the top. The entrance holes within that 600 pound safe, the pedal looking like objects are actually the jacket being stripped away from the Ralphus round and the exit holes. Demonstrated here are six of the seven exit holes. Three of the tungsten carbide penetrators did not penetrate out the back half of that safe. On the top part of the screen you can see one tungsten carbide penetrator that impacted the back end of the safe but did not penetrate. At the lower part of the screen you can see one tungsten carbide penetrator that actually came through the back end of the safe, parallel, vice perpendicular to the target. Pending any questions you might have, this concludes the M82A1A Special Application Scope Rifle Terminal Ballistics and Capabilities Demonstration.